Have you ever wondered how power plants efficiently produce electricity without damaging their equipment? At the heart of this remarkable feat lies a hero often overlooked, the Turbine Supervisory Instrumentation, or TSI. This instrumental system is responsible for keeping a vigilant eye on the behavior of the rotor train assembly. Imagine the rotor train like the engine of a car. It's the powerhouse, the heart of the plant. Now consider the TSI as the car's dashboard, constantly monitoring the engine's performance, ensuring everything is running smoothly and warning of any potential issues. Without the TSI, the powerhouse could suffer damage, leading to frequent and costly breakdowns. TSI is not just about preventing damage though, it's also about enhancing efficiency. By keeping the rotor train in perfect harmony, it ensures that power plants can operate at their maximum potential, converting fuel into electricity with the highest possible efficiency. So, TSI plays a critical role in ensuring the smooth operation of power plants. Now, you might ask, what exactly is turbine supervisory instrumentation? Well, let's break it down together. Turbine supervisory instrumentation, or TSI for short, is essentially a system of measurements, but not just any measurements. These are the ones that monitor the behavior of the rotor train assembly in a power plant. You can think of it as a guardian watching over the heart of the power plant. The rotor train assembly is like the backbone of a power plant. It's where the magic happens, where energy is transformed from one form to another. It includes the turbine, the generator, and all the rotating parts in between. And it's crucial that everything runs smoothly here. That's where TSI steps in. TSI is made up of several components, each one focusing on a specific aspect of the rotor train assembly. Let's take a closer look at these. First, we have vibration. This is all about the movement of the rotor. Too much vibration can spell trouble, causing wear and tear, or even catastrophic failure. The vibration sensors in the TSI system keep a close eye on these movements alerting us to any unusual activity. Next, we have the axial position. This measures the position of the rotor along its axis. A shift in the axial position can indicate a potential issue with the bearings or the balance of the rotor, then their speed. It's crucial to monitor the speed of the rotor as any sudden changes can indicate a problem. This could be a mechanical issue or an imbalance in the power supply. Lastly, we have temperature. As you can imagine, things can get pretty hot in a power plant. Temperature sensors help ensure that the rotor and the surrounding components stay within a safe operating range. So what does all this mean? Well, with these measurements in hand, operators can monitor the health of the rotor train assembly, predict potential issues, and carry out maintenance before any major problems occur. In essence, TSI is like the power plant's health monitoring system. Now that we know what TSI is, how does it work? Well, let's dive right in. The mechanics of turbine supervisory instrumentation, or TSI, revolve around a series of measurements, each one designed to monitor a specific aspect of the rotor train assembly's behavior. Think of these measurements as a symphony orchestra, where each instrument plays a crucial part in creating a beautiful melody. Here, the melody is the smooth operation of a power plant. The first measurement is taken from the shaft. This measures the rotor's relative position and vibration. It's like checking the pulse of the power plant, ensuring the heart of the system, the turbine, is beating just right. Next, we have the bearing temperature measurement. This keeps an eye on the fever, so to speak. If the temperature rises above a certain threshold, it could indicate an issue that needs immediate attention. The third measurement looks at the axial position of the rotor. It's like a dance instructor, ensuring that the rotor stays in its lane and doesn't deviate from its course. Any deviation could cause a catastrophic collision within the turbine. Then there's the speed measurement. This is the pacemaker of the power plant, ensuring that the rotor is spinning at the right speed. Too fast or too slow could lead to efficiency losses or even mechanical failures. Lastly, we have the shell expansion and differential expansion. These measurements monitor the overall growth of the turbine casing and the relative growth between the rotor and casing. 
Think of them as the growth charts, making sure the turbine is not outgrowing its shell. Each measurement plays a vital role in maintaining the overall health of the power plant. They work together to ensure the power plant is running smoothly and efficiently and to catch any potential problems before they become serious issues. Just as a doctor uses various tests to diagnose a patient's health, TSI uses multiple measurements to assess the health of a power plant. So, what happens when Turbine Supervisory Instrumentation, or TSI, is effectively implemented in a power plant? Well, the benefits are substantial and far-reaching. First and foremost, TSI can prevent costly breakdowns. Imagine the rotor train assembly as the heart of the power plant, beating steadily, ensuring the smooth operation of the entire system. However, like any heart, it can experience stress and strain. TSI acts like an attentive cardiologist, constantly monitoring the rotor's heartbeat. This enables early detection of any abnormal behavior, allowing for timely intervention and preventing catastrophic failures that could potentially cost millions. But TSI doesn't just prevent breakdowns, it also enhances efficiency. With precise data on the rotor's behavior, engineers can fine-tune the operations, ensuring that every drop of fuel is used to its maximum potential. This means we can generate more energy with the same amount of fuel, making the power plant more productive and cost-effective. And the benefits don't stop there. By enhancing efficiency, TSI also prolongs the life of the power plant. It's like ensuring your car is regularly serviced and tuned. It runs smoother, breaks down less often, and lasts longer. The same principle applies to power plants. Regular monitoring and maintenance, facilitated by TSI, can extend their lifespan significantly. Now here's the cherry on top. TSI is not just beneficial for power plants, but also for our environment. By minimizing wastage and enhancing efficiency, we reduce the amount of fuel needed, and consequently, the emissions produced. This contributes to a reduction in greenhouse gases, helping to combat climate change. In conclusion, TSI is a vital tool that not only ensures the efficient operation of power plants, but also contributes to a greener planet. It's a win-win situation for both the power industry and the world we live in. So the next time you switch on a light or charge your phone, remember the crucial role of TSI empowering our lives and our planet. Let's summarize what we've learned about TSI. Turbine Supervisory Instrumentation, or TSI, is a critical player in the power industry. It's the unsung hero that ensures the smooth operation of our power systems, monitoring the behavior of the rotor train assembly. We have delved into the components that make up TSI, each playing a vital role. From the vibration probes that detect any unusual movement to the speed sensors that keep the turbine spinning at just the right pace. Together, they form a sophisticated system that constantly checks and balances the turbine's performance. We've also seen how TSI works, providing real-time data to engineers and enabling them to make informed decisions. It's this constant vigilance that helps prevent costly and potentially dangerous malfunctions. And let's not forget the benefits. With TSI, power plants can maximize efficiency, reduce downtime, and ultimately provide us with reliable electricity. Remember, next time you flip a switch, you have TSI to thank for the reliable power.